All right, guys, time for NFL Week 3 on an 87-59-5 overall run here on the Power 5. Of course, my clients want a perfect 4-0 and in NFL Week 2. I'll have more info on how you can get on board this week in just a little bit. But first, as is the case every Sunday, five free NFL winners for you here on the show today. Whenever you feel like it, go ahead and comment down below with your thoughts on these selections. Number one is Denver plus six against Tampa Bay. This is less about the Broncos guys who were able to stay within one possession against both the Seahawks and Steelers and more about my desire to fade Baker Mayfield and the 2-0 Buccaneers. I have to be frank with you. Prior to the start of the season, I bet under seven and a half wins for this Bucs team. That's not looking great right now. But a quick glance at their upcoming schedule reveals there's a run of games that are likely to bring them, uh, quote-unquote, back down to earth. As for this Sunday, Tampa is a team that just does not profile well as a big favorite. Of course, this year across the entire NFL, teams have really struggled against the spread when laying six or more points at the betting window. In fact, prior to the Jets win and cover Thursday night, NFL favorites of six or more were 0-8 ATS this season. Now, Looking more specifically at this Tampa team, last week, they were the first team in NFL history, yes, NFL history, to win a game in which they were outgained by 200 or more yards and have a sack differential of at least minus five. Mayfield is 15, 26, and 1 ATS in his career as a favorite. That's just 37%. So take the points with a desperate 0-2 Denver team at 1 p.m. Eastern. Number two, last week at wagetalk.com, I had a 3% winner with a backup quarterback. I took Green Bay plus the points with Malik Willis against Indianapolis. Pack ended up winning outright. Time to take points with another backup this week, and it's Skylar Thompson in Miami getting four and a half at Seattle. I don't show quite as much value here as I did last week with Willis in the pack, but as I wrote my analysis for that game, Odds makers tend to overreact whenever there's a backup quarterback in there for the first time, and that is the case here. Again, backups in their first start as a dog, now 38-30-2 ATS, so some profitability there. Thompson has starting experience, of course. Uh, I have confidence in head coach Mike McDaniel, and it's not like Seattle's been dominant. They've beaten the Broncos and Patriots, two of the worst teams in the league, by a combined nine points and needed overtime last week in New England. Plus, no Kenneth Walker this week. They're stud running back. Run game should really suffer. I like the points with Miami. Let us now move to the Sunday nighter. Chiefs, Falcons. We really pulled one out of the fire Monday night with the Falcons coming back to stun the Eagles and win outright. I will point out they were covering for 58 minutes of that game. And I'm going to back Atlanta again here as a primetime underdog, this time at home though. Look, I get the Chiefs are great. Back-to-back Super Bowls, Patrick Mahomes, yada, yada, yada. But... They could have lost each of these first two games. Baltimore's potential game-tying touchdown was ruled out of bounds in the opener. Ruled out of bounds correctly, I may add. And then last week, KC needed a defensive touchdown, a pass interference call on fourth down, and a 51-yard field goal by Harrison Butker to beat the Bengals by just a single point. The Chiefs are the only 2-0 team this week that's going on the road for the first time. And Mahomes... He has a losing ATS record as a favorite of three points or more in his career. Kirk Cousins in prime time. That's just narrative stuff now, folks. Kirk is 8-3 and three straight up his last 11 in prime time. So let's take the Falcons plus three on Sunday night football. Moving to Monday night for our fourth pick. Take the Jaguars plus five against the Bills. This is just a full-on desperation spot for the Jags who are 0-2 straight up, but probably should be 2-0. Really let potential wins slip away against both the Dolphins and the Browns, two playoff teams from last year. Uh, Those two losses were by a combined eight points. Honestly, this was a Jacksonville team I thought could make the playoffs this year. That's looking pretty foolish right now. Uh, Heads are certainly going to roll in Duval County if this team falls to 0-3 straight up. The trends back up a play on the Jaguars here. Winless road teams off a home loss in the first five weeks of the season are on a 79-43-3 ATS run. That also applies to Denver, who I talked about earlier on. Let us now wrap things up with a teaser bet. Uh, Let's take two home dogs, Minnesota and Arizona. Tease them through the key numbers of three and seven. So it's Vikings plus seven and a half and Cardinals plus nine. I think these are two competent teams that can, at the very worst, 
stay within one score at home. Vikings are playing the Texans in a battle of 2-0 and teams. But the difference here, Minnesota's two wins have been by a combined 28 points, one of them over San Francisco. Houston's two wins are by a total of just eight points. I love the job head coach Kevin O'Connell is doing in the land of 10,000 lakes. Then Arizona, this team coming off a 41-7 win last week here at home. Sure, it was against the Rams who were banged up. But remember, the Rams took the Lions, who the Cardinals are playing this week, to overtime in week one. I like Dan Campbell, and the Lions sure have been a great team to bet on during his tenure in the Motor City. But I don't think the Lions beat the Cardinals by more than eight points on Sunday. So that's a teaser. Minnesota and Arizona. Uh, get them, make sure, just as long as it's plus seven and a half or better on both. Let us now recap the Power Five, shall we? Number one, Denver plus six at Tampa Bay. Number two, Miami plus four and a half at Seattle. Number three, Atlanta plus three versus Kansas City. That's Sunday night. Number four on Monday night, Jags plus five at the Bills. And number five, a teaser bet for Sunday, Minnesota and Arizona. Again, if you already haven't done so, Feel free to comment down uh, below with any thoughts, co- questions, whatever. Let's keep it interactive. Drop your favorite bets for NFL Week 3. I love hearing from you guys. And also, if you haven't done so, smash that like button. Give this show a thumbs up. Always appreciate your support. Now, if you're looking for my top selections for NFL Week 3, it's very simple where to go. You head on over to wt.buzz bp. As I mentioned at the top of the show, I went a perfect 4-0 in Week 2. Cash the Packers outright a 4% best bet on the Commanders, and a teaser with the Browns and Broncos. That was Sunday. Then we closed out the sweep with the Falcons Monday night. Heading into the weekend, I have gone a perfect 4-0 in all sports the last three days. That's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I am the number one handicapper at Wager Talk in football so far this season, hitting a combined 68% in NFL and college. I've got three NFL winners for you on Sunday, including another 4% best bet. You can get all three right now for just $29 at my page, wt.buzz slash bp. Now go ahead, again, smash that like button uh, if you already haven't done so, and make sure you are subscribed to the Wage Talk uh, YouTube channels. I not only have you covered daily here with the Power Five, but every Monday through Friday, it is myself and my good friend Mark Zinno doing the Morning Wager. That will do it for the NFL Week 3 edition of the Morning Wager. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, let's catch some tickets.